Langchain is a library to build applications powered by language models. It was created by Harrison Chase as an open source project. After a huge launch, he formed a company and raised $30 million. In case you've been living under a rock, language models allow general purpose understanding and generation of text. Basically, it's the closest we've come to general AI so far, and you can use it in your app today or just post about it on LinkedIn. Langchain lets you use LLMs in your app by providing a universal interface for them. It's a Python and JavaScript library broken into modules so you can use only what you want. Model IO is the core of Langchain and lets you interface with LLMs through prompts, models, and parsers. A prompt is the input to a model. Every model may have a slightly different API or prompt expectations. So you can wing it or you can use Langchain's prompt templates. Here's an example. Instead of concatenating strings on the fly, we create clear expectations around the input for the prompt. This lets us validate our inputs, test our code, and do so while sending user data to the prompts. So how do we run these prompts? Langchain abstracts the model you're talking to and provides a class for each one. This means you can use it to interact with OpenAI, Cohere, Hugging Face, and more. Some of these APIs are hella expensive. Langchain provides an optional caching layer to reduce the number of API calls that you make, either in memory or to a local database. Now when using the same input multiple times, we can avoid an API call. The first call takes almost a second, while the next takes only a few milliseconds. One second requests are really frustrating as a user, but Langchain lets us stream responses. When we provide a streaming flag and a callback, we can watch the response come back in real time. The last step at Model IO is parsing the model's response. You could give the output directly to the user, but you usually want to get it into a format your program can use. Langchain makes this simple with output parsers. A great example is the list parser. This lets us get the output in a native Python list. Langchain has a bunch of these parsers to turn text into structured data. Just these features would make Langchain sick, but it has some more tricks up its sleeve. Let's talk about retrieval. LLM apps might require user-specific data that's not part of the model's training set. The act of fetching that data and passing it to the LLM is called retrieval augmented generation. The first building block for RIG is loading documents. Langchain provides a class to load everything from CSVs to PDFs. This means you don't have to patch together a bunch of libraries to load different types of files. Once you've loaded your documents, we can create embeddings and query that data. We take an embeddings model and call embed documents. This will generate vectors for those documents, which we'll then use for semantic search. For RAG, you'll want to store these somewhere so that we can query them. Here we use that same embeddings model to generate the vectors, but then we store them along with the documents themselves in a vector database. Now we can query a retriever for the relevant documents. Langchain provides nine different retrievers for different use cases. In RAG, you take the relevant documents from the retriever and then feed them into the next prompt. You could do this manually, or you could use a chain, which are classes that handle multiple LLM calls. The retrieval QA chain will handle all of the details for the retriever for you. Chains can also be used to hold conversations. But what do you use all this for? Here's where it starts to get crazy. Langchain helps you build agents. Agents in Langchain are similar to the chain class, but use the LLM to choose a sequence of actions to take. The most common way it does this is through the React framework, which basically uses a special prompt to reason, then act. A React prompt is based on thoughts, actions, and observations. It can be multiple steps. This lets the LLM reason with itself. Here's what it looks like in Langchain. The special sauce here is in the actions. You give the agent a set of tools to use, like searching Google or using a calculator. Langchain comes with over 40 different tools you can give your agent access to, or you can write a simple wrapper to call whatever API you want. This means you could write your own personal assistant that can act on your behalf. As some people are using this to make sales, and some are trying to use it as a base for Skynet. And that's Langchain. If you like this, please subscribe and check out grok.computer. Have a great day.